A woman who's five months pregnant is being held tonight without bail, accused of killing the man she was staying with. Friends of the victim say they're heartbroken. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones just got out of court. She joins us live with the new details we're learning tonight. Chelsea? Well, guys, we've learned that Kevin and Chelsea had a volatile relationship, and it all seemed to hit ahead inside of an apartment here. But the state's attorney says Chelsea just got back to Boston, and the two haven't gotten along since she got here. He tried to be a nice guy to let her stay in the house. Neighbors and friends reacting tonight after their friend Kevin Stoughton was killed. The Bristol County District Attorney says Chelsea Pimentel is accused of murdering the man she was staying with, Kevin Stoughton. In court Wednesday, State Attorney Michael Scott says the two had a volatile relationship. Neighbors confirmed. But he did say he wanted her out of there. She's going to go in an ambulance or with handcuffs. He told me that. Why did he but say that? She, don't, she wouldn't leave. According to her attorney, Pimentel just got back to town and had nowhere to stay. Stoughton took her in, but the two didn't get along. Monday, in a series of text messages, Scott says Pimentel texted her parents saying a man was dead. That man would later be identified as Kevin Stoughton. Those texts led Pimentel's parents to call police. Once police got to his residence at 39 North 6th in New Bedford, they say they found his body once inside. Initially, Pimentel was questioned and then released, but she was arrested after a medical examiner's investigation revealed. And on autopsy, um, there were severe and significant internal injuries to his neck area. His larynx was crushed, uh, so he had no way or way to breathe. Um, there was bruising about his neck area and his upper chest area. The autopsy also revealed broken ribs and lacerations above the eye. Once arrested, attorney Scott said Pimentel revealed more details about Stoughton's death. He says she admitted to grabbing him out of his chair, throwing him into a wall. He fell, he hit his head, and died as a result. People that knew Kevin in shock. He was a very nice, nice guy, you know, and so, I mean, I, I just miss him daily. Pimentel's attorney argues that she suffers from severe mental health issues. We've also learned she's five months pregnant. She also has a seven-year-old daughter that stays with her parents right now, though she's being held without bail and will be back in court on the 1st. Live in New Bedford, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News. As Target 12 has reported, Thomas is accused of conducting fat tests on students while they were naked. The Rhode Island Attorney General's office is investigating. Tonight, a 33-year-old New Bedford woman accused of killing the 62-year-old man she was staying with is being held without bail. Chelsea Pimentel was arraigned a short time ago on murder and other charges. On Monday, police say they found her roommate, Kevin Stoughton, dead in his North 6th Street apartment. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones was at the arraignment and joins us live with what she's learned about this case. Chelsea? Shannon, based on text sent from Pimentel to her parents, this was a murder mission. That's according to the Commonwealth's attorney. He says that Pimentel says she was seeking revenge on behalf of her father, a claim that her father has since denied to police. Her attorney says that she suffers from severe mental health issues. Through my interview, long interview with her, I could see that there are serious mental health issues at, at work here. In court, it was revealed 33-year-old Chelsea Pimentel was recently staying with 62-year-old Kevin Stoughton because she had nowhere to go. But the two did not get along. But he did say he wanted her out of there. She's going to go in an ambulance or with handcuffs. He told me that. Why did he but say that? She, don't, she wouldn't leave. According to Commonwealth Attorney Michael Scott, on Monday, Pimentel was awakened to screaming by Stoughton. At some point after, he says Pimentel assaulted him. Ms. Pimentel tells the police that she grabs Mr. Stoughton by his shirt, picks him up out of the chair, and pushes him, um, causing him to bump his head against a bureau and then fall forward and hit the frame of his bed. This resulted in his death. An autopsy revealed Stoughton suffered from several injuries, including broken ribs, lacerations, and a crushed airway. Though initially released, Pimentel was arrested Tuesday, charged with murder and two counts of assault and battery. He tried to be a nice guy to let her stay in the house. Pimentel will undergo a 15-day evaluation when she's back in court on Friday. Until then, she is being held without bail. Live in New Bedford, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.